you try to utilize 15 different ball screen situations in practice each day to get our players to learn to read and react to each other. The ball screen uh, offense has been around since basketball began. The two-man game was developed, I think, uh, a lot in the NBA. Uh, and we've tried to learn from teams like the San Antonio Spurs and the Miami Heat, the two teams that made it to this past year's finals, because they were two of the best at getting easy shots off a of ball screen offense. For us, ball screening begins in transition when we are on the attack. We don't always have a great offensive post player, a real go-to guy on the inside, but the one thing we've had are big guys who are willing to run the floor and screen for the shooters on our team, to screen for the ball handlers on our team. So the first way we utilize the ball screen is in a fast break situation. Here, when we look at the board, our point guard, one, has the basketball, and he's pushed it on the dribble across the timeline. Our foreman has trailed the play, but running right alongside the point guard as quickly as he can. And as soon as he gets even or slightly ahead of the point guard, he's going to turn and set a ball screen right in transition. Our wings, the two-man has filled the right lane, the three-man has filled the left lane, and those positions are interchangeable. But their responsibility is the same. Get out in front of the ball, spot up. If you cannot get a layup in transition, spot up at the three-point line, and our point guard will find you.